Hi, if you're moving from one Mac to another, there is a neat built-in feature called Migration Assistant that lets you move basically everything from the old computer to the new one, all in one go. The only things I have found does not get transferred over is modification to system files, something that normal users should not experience any issues with at all. So in my experience, basically all apps, regardless of their installed from the web or from App Store, as well as settings, etc., gets transferred over basically perfectly. For this to work, we first First need our old Mac that we want to transfer the data from. In my case this is the laptop to the left, my MacBook Pro M2 Pro that I spilled coffee in and now is going away to the insurance company to hopefully be replaced. Moving on, on the right I have a freshly factory resetted MacBook Air that is going to be holding all the data from my soon to be broken MacBook Pro. Both laptops also need to be on the same wireless network for this to work. Alternatively you can also use a Thunderbolt or USB-C cable to connect both computers together, would you like to do so instead? The computer receiving the data also does not have to be factory resetted, but I would still advise to do so to get as good as of an experience as possible. If you are unsure on how to factory reset a Mac computer, please check this video, also linked down below. One more thing before we start is to make sure that there is enough space on the hard drive of the computer receiving all the files from the old computer. In my case here I had to copy a bunch of files to an external drive off of the old computer first to make sure everything fitted on the slightly smaller drive in the MacBook Air to the right. Alright, now to initiate the migration assistant we start our new freshly resetted computer and make our way through the setup process until we reach the migration assistant option. We here select the first option in the list from a Mac etc and then select Select continue. The computer now puts itself on lookout mode for receiving any incoming files. Now on the old computer we tap the little search symbol up to the right and search for migration assistant and then start the program. We then click on continue, enter our system password and select to another Mac when the migration assistant window shows up. We can now see that the new computer has picked up the old one, so we click continue. Make sure here that the code are the same on both screens and then click continue again on the old computer. Now after a little thinking we are presented with which files actually will be transferred from the left computer to the right one. If we wait a little, which we should, we can also see the exact size of each separate part of files that are being moved. And also deselect any of them should we not want everything to get transferred over. In this case though we want everything to be sent over and we can also see that the added up file size is smaller than the 256GB drive of the MacBook Air so hopefully everything should fit right on it. We then click continue and gets presented with the option to set a password for the user account we're transferring from the old computer to the new one. And then the transfer process begins. If you haven't already done so, now is a really good time to connect both laptops to a power source to prevent anything from happening should one of them lose all their battery during the transfer process. The actual moving over process can take some time, in my case it took about an hour, an hour and a half for all the files to be transferred over. And when the message saying migration complete is displayed on the screens, everything is done. I here also got a warning that one of the files could not be transferred over from the old computer to the new one. However, up on further inspection, this was a system file that I'm guessing is already active on the new computer, so that was completely fine. And after clicking done, the new computer then happily displays the normal login screen. Before getting into the new computer, we also need to re-log into our Apple ID on the new computer, after which we are then let onto the desktop once again. That also looks basically exactly the same as it does on the old computer. While starting to use the new computer, some programs will have to be reactivated and allow system privilege again to work correctly. But apart from that, everything should be basically exactly the same as it was on the old computer we transferred all the files and settings from. Here is also a good time to just double check that all the files actually got transferred before you factory reset or do whatever you want to do to the old computer. And that is how you transfer everything from one Mac to another. Please share any thoughts or questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye!